so let's start it that's my picture uh you first need to pick the pen tool from here click on it and it's control plus to zoom in and select the image like what kind of part you want to select just select that So guys I will select all of the frame we will listen to the song to my shadow to the sun rays and selection is done here you need to right click on it and select the make selection option click on it and then the rendering uh, feather radius is uh, to the one sorry one and click on ok and that selected ok now you need to the control C for copy and copy Control C for copy and you pick a new layer from here and click on layer 1 and control V to paste it. Okay, that's it. And now you click on control and click on layer 1 and select the background layer. Now go to edit to fill then content aware click on ok it takes some minutes it's cooking ok now you can hide the layer 1 to see the proper what I do that's it yes that is click off on off on off so you need to control D to, uh, to deselect that and choose the clone stamp tool and you need to clone the edge of the side on the image. So I make it fast forward for being quick. Uh, then that's it. Okay. So this is the picture and that's the background So now we can do the uh, a new page from control N I name it 2.5T with 1920 height 180 Resolution is 72. If you want to print it, then uh, you can change it to 300 or other. So I can go with 72 pixel. That's the, our page, blank page. Now we need to copy the two layers from the new page. Click on track, and that's it. Now control minus for zoom out and control T for select that and you take a moment of what kind of angle in your picture is looking good 
it's looking good to me. That's totally your choice. Now select the background layer or select the layer 1 whatever just right click on it and copy uh, convert to smart object both of the layers not the last one only both of the layers then go to window to timeline and here is go there is the button of create video timeline click on it holy shit that's our video editor on photoshop so we need to do select the first layer of the human being and click on the arrow of the layer then transform and the timeline reviewer the at, at the end of the project and then press on keyboard control T that select it and now you can change the angle what you want to do I just put some sufficient to describe the project and ok as the same process we can do the second one and you can see the picture is moving it might be a slow little bit but uh, good looking so now select the second layer layer 2 and do the same thing on it remember uh, when you do the transform then you need to uh, point the timeline point at the starting time oh sorry 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 uh, then now go to the end of the point and then press ctrl t I little bit zoom out it and uh, now I fit the position of the background that's it okay now play so that's the your process you want to make your 2.5p it's not about 2d it's not about 3d it's the 2.5p so now we need to export it just simply it is the end of our process so now we can go to the file then export then render video let's take some minutes or some seconds initializing so here we are oh rename it 2.5t 2.5 the, I select the folder desktop uh, you need to uh, you can change the frame rate or document size uh, quality I can go for high quality uh, remember that the Adobe media encoder is a must use by you and 3d quality interactive that's a better option I think then hit on right now so the render progress is uh, depends on your computer configuration so wait for that how long your video is so that's it let's play so i hope that uh, you all guys enjoyed that video and i think the thumbs up on my video so thank you guys, thanks for all of you and please do not forget to subscribe, subscribe, like, share.